My beloved brothers and sisters, we know that Allah is in absolute control of entire existence. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah who is the Lord of the worlds, the creator, the nourisher, the cherisher, the sustainer, the provider, the protector, the curer, the one in absolute control of every single aspect of existence. One might ask, well, in that particular case, why does he allow certain things to happen? Subhanallah. Why does Allah allow negative things to happen? Do you know that Allah has given man and Allah has given his creatures to a certain extent some form of a some form of a choice in some of what they do and some of what they say etc So Allah has given us a choice within what he has allowed in order to test us and this Allah explains in the Quran in a few places where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna hadaynahu sabila we guided man to the path imma shakiran wa imma kafuran we've given him the choice either he would be you know grateful show gratitude by worshiping Allah alone following what Allah has revealed or kafuran showing ungratefulness ingratitude and that would be known as uh, kufr, which means disbelieving in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. So ingratitude and disbelief come hand in hand. You know, so Allah has allowed us certain a certain leeway. But all of that is within the permission of Allah, within the power of Allah. Nothing happens except by the permission and knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, Allah has created species. We as human beings are just one of those species. And Allah says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ Indeed, we have honored the humankind. We have honored the children of Adam, meaning the human beings. We've given them honor above other creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a certain way. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expands and Allah explains to us even more. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ Indeed, we have created man in the best of postures. And we've explained this in the past to say it's part of the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has created us in a posture that is better than all other creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we know. Subhanallah rabbil alameen. So Allah says, Inna hadaynahu sabila imma shakiran wa imma kafuran. Inna sa'yakum la shatta. You know, your striving is very different. It will be each one will strive in his or her own unique way. So what did Allah give you? Allah created you. Before he created you, he actually asked you a question. Allah asked you and I a question. Yes, he did. What was the question? Allah says, وَإِذْ أَخَذَ رَبُّكَ مِن بَنِي آدَمَ مِن ظُهُورِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَأَشْهَدَهُمْ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ أَلَسْتُ بِرَبِّكُمْ قَالُوا بَلَىٰ شَهِدْنَا Amazing. Allah says, long back, remember when we took from the back of Adam alayhi salam, all his progeny in soul form. And we asked them a question. What was the question? Alas to be Rabbikum. Am I not your Lord, your creator? And what did we all respond? We said, Bala, indeed you are. Shahidna, we bear witness that you are. So we actually said this. And we've forgotten it. And Allah says in the Quran, You know, don't come on the day of judgment and say to us that, oh, we are oblivious of this. We didn't know this.